All right, so on the Dutch bucket system, okay, so minor update. So you know the Dutch buckets, and they're all doing really, really good. Um, so because I had some unwanted pests that were living in the rocks, I've added this ball valve to the drain. So it's a one-inch drain. So it's half-inch water to feed the thing, and one-inch drain that feeds back into the rest of the system. So I've closed the ball valve so I can flood this out so we can fill this for a good 20 minutes and then hopefully that'll drown out all the bugs, insects, or whatever's in the, the buckets. So that's my little update. Okay, so now that ball valve's been closed a while, I've added some water to speed up this process. Um, let's see, showing. So this is still running. Wait a minute, see if anything comes out. I saw a little tiny cockroach, but I didn't get to film it. Okay, more time's gone by. It's been almost 10 minutes. Surprisingly, the buckets haven't overfilled yet. But... Yeah. Oh, one critter. Uh, that looks like a baby centipede. That's not cool if I have centipedes living in my aquaponics. That would be weird. Especially because when they get big and go in the house, they're like scary as can be. And that happens. The sun looks fine. Um, it's low on water, but it's not terribly low. There's like a little beach area on each side. If that ain't fun, then I don't worry. Um, there's the semi sensor, and they're attached to the pump. Waterfall looks like it's crooked. It has been messed up several times and just pushed back together without any regard for aesthetics. But no, it's all looks good. Let's go check on the it's getting really close to full now. Another minute or so. Go to the edge. See if we can get it. Yeah, so we're just going to call these the strawberry buckets for now on because that's exactly what they are. They're not Dutch buckets, they're just strawberry buckets. They're going to do well. Look at the centipede in there. I don't know. It's like two or three of them. And that is why we're flooding the thing and adding the valve. So, yeah. Valve valve closed. This fills up. Come back, check it. And then, oh yeah, let me go get a fork and some soy sauce. So, that was one pretty big slug I was able to pull out of there. Um, that was most likely the real thing that was uh, messing with everything. I don't see anything else. Um, but wait, ah, oh, let's see, there's another one. So we're going to have to get that sucker. Okay, so that's two slugs down. Um, the water level got a little too high. Just off camera, I opened up the valve. i uh, let the water level go down a little. Um, but we don't want to go down okay, so now that's set to off. All the rocks are still submerged. We're about 10 minutes into this uh, flood and evacuate and be sure if there's any parasites like slugs that they have been removed. So we'll let it fill back up again. Yeah. Okay, so that's draining. So these strawberries, I'm not sure how good they're going to do. They don't do anything like the buckets do. Um, what is doing good in here, surprisingly, is this uh, pepper. Wait, motorcycle. Okay, so, uh, I don't know. They just, hardly any berries came out of that this year. And then this side, because I had a malfunction, um, most of the crop died. I transplanted one. I think I'm just gonna, for all the strawberry plants that die, um, I'm just gonna put lettuce or peppers. 
because um, maybe these this these runners on the side even though like you look at that one that one looks so good so I don't know maybe I need to put more density I don't know because where it's real dense here I think this one is two and one oh it's three and one that's three and one well, I think that was like just like one big chunk I pulled out of one of the go pots but all right um if there's anything else, that was it. Okay, so that's drained back down. I don't see any uh, other critters to be aware of. So next I need to take out the bell siphon and put that little piece and flood each one of these grow beds and do the same thing. And I'll have to do the big one too. Okay, I guess this one's full. I've been letting it run for a really long time. Um, overflowing. Oh man. Oh, my hands are all shaky because I've been doing dog work, so forgive me. Uh, yep, found a slug, big one. So we're gonna have to get him out, look for any others. Got my slice off here. Yeah, so he's pretty freaking big. Um, much, much bigger than the others. That's crazy. Um, we'll have to see if there's any others. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Just one, just one king. Yeah, okay. All right, so I didn't find anything else. So there's a tube I put in the bell siphon. I took that out. That was to extend the water level. Um, I thought I had it just perfect, but apparently. Cap for the bell siphon back. Um, yeah, so never use your hands when handling slugs. I just poke them with a fork or scoop them up with a spoon. Um, yeah, you don't want that slime on your fingers, and if you forget to wash your hands, who knows, you might have a really tricky night. <laughs> don't do it. Seriously, don't do it. Um, yeah, we'll have to add water to here. And you're done.